do. White people really come from the Caucasus mountains. Do white people really come from the Caucasus? How Caucasians got their name? The Caucasus is a difficult and complicated place. One Russian political scientist told the Financial Times, referring to the small mountainous region between the Black Sea and the Caspian Sea that comprises Georgia, Armenia, and Azerbaijan. Wait, do white people really come from the Caucasus? It's highly unlikely. It is highly unlikely. According to the article, it's highly unlikely that the Caucasus mountain range was the original homeland for people who are now classified as white. Herodotus describes the people of Caucasus as dark complexioned with woolly hair. Caucasus, Britannica, the peoples of the region have exhibited an extraordinary ethnic and cultural diversity since early times. The Chalcaeans, for example, as described in the 5th century BCE by the Greek historian Herodotus, were black-skinned Egyptians. Though their true origin remains unclear, in subsequent centuries, successive waves of peoples migrating across Eurasia added to and were molded by the more established groups in the region. Not surprisingly, a greater variety of languages is spoken in Caucasia than in any other area of similar size in the world. King of Coke Aetes, Caucasus, Caucasus Mountains Region. Circe, famed for her magical powers, is represented as a Negro woman. Some writers think the drawing grotesque because its features aren't Greek, but it is racially correct. Circe, according to the legends, was the daughter of Aetes, king of Colchis, and Herodotus say Colchian or Negroes. Circe's sister was Medea, famous sorceress, associated with Jason and the Golden Fleece. She was honored as a goddess at Corinth and figures much in the writings of Pindar, Euripides, and others. Nature Knows No Color Line, page 36. Circe, Sorceress, in Homer's Odyssey. Circe, daughter of King Aetes of Colchis. King Aetes has another daughter, Medea, and Jason. Medea aided Jason in his search for the Golden Fleece. Medea murders her own sons by Jason. She 
and flees to the city of Athens. Media In Greek mythology, media, perhaps implying planner, schema, is the daughter of King Aetes of Colchis, a niece of Circe, or sister, and the granddaughter of the sun god Helios. Media figures in the myth of Jason and the Argonauts. Media plays the archetypical role of helper mating, aiding Jason in his search for the golden fleece by using her magic to save his life out of love. Once he finished his quest, she abandons her native home of Caucasus and flees westward with Jason, where they eventually settle in Corinth and get married. After 10 years of marriage, Jason abandons her to wed King Priam's daughter, Creesa. Later, she murders her own sons by Jason before fleeing for Athens, where she eventually marries King Aegeus. What happens afterwards varies according to several accounts. Herodotus in his histories mentions that she ended up leaving Athens and settling in the Iranian plateau among the Aryans, who subsequently changed their name to the Medes. The Aryans changed their name in honor of media, according to Greek mythology, the Medes. This was the opinion of the Greeks based on mythology, not historical fact. Media, the land of the Medes. Medes, the Medes were an ancient Iranian people who spoke the Median language and who inhabited an area known as Media between Western and Northern Iran. a Mede, and a Persian. The Apadana Palace, 5th century BC, Achaemenid Bas Relief, shows a Mede soldier behind a Persian soldier in Persopolis, Iran. A Mede and a Persian Medes and their tribes. According to the histories of Herodotus, there were six Median tribes. One tribe, the Magi. The six Median tribes resided in Media proper in present day Iran. Of the Median tribes, the Magi were of a sacred caste which ministered to the spiritual needs of the Medes. The Magi were priests of the Medes. Medes, Persopolis, Iran, Reliefs, 550-350. BC. Medes, sons of Japheth.
Greek scholars during antiquity would base ethnological conclusions on Greek legends and the similarity of names. According to the histories of Herodotus 440 BC, the Medes were formerly called by everyone Arians. But when the Cocaean woman, Media, came from Athens to the Arians, they changed their name like the Persians did after Persis, son of Perseus and Andromeda. This is the Medes' own account of themselves. The Medes were the Aryans of history. The Medes, the Aryans, Aryan or Arya is a term originally used as an ethnocultural self-designation by Indo-Iranians in ancient times, in contrast to the nearby outsiders known as non-Aryans. The Aryans, the name Ari Zantoi, listed by Greek historian Herodotus, as one of the six tribes composing the Iranian Medes, is derived from the old Iranian Arya Zantoi having Aryan lineage. Herodotus also mentions that the Medes once called themselves Aroi. The Medes. To me, Germans who are very pale and Ethiopians who are very black seem more beautiful than those who appear to be mixed of both. Egyptians who are swarthy, and Medes who are dark. Why is it not obvious? Should we not prefer the highest in beauty, the most beautiful of all, the highest in learning, the one endowed with the highest virtue, to the middling in beauty? Dialectical Disputations by Lorenzo Valla, 1407-1457 The Medes are dark. The original Aryans were a dark-complexioned nation. The Medes, Madai, sons of Japhet, grandson of Noah, Genesis, chapter 10, verse 2. Do white people really come from the Caucasus? How Caucasians got their name? The Caucasus is a difficult and complicated place, one Russian political scientist told the Financial Times. Referring to the small mountainous region between the Black Sea and the Caspian Sea that comprises Georgia, Armenia, and Azerbaijan. Wait, do white people really come from the Caucasus? It's highly unlikely. It is highly unlikely. According to the article, it's highly unlikely that the Caucasus mountain range was the original homeland for people who are now classified as white. The article continues. There are scholarly disagreements about how and when some of our dark-skinned ancestors develop lighter skin. The article also admits that scholars agree that originally people who are classified as white were once dark-skinned. So why do we call white people Caucasians? 
The term was popularized by the German scientist Johann Friedrich Blumenbach. He considered the Caucasians to be the first race on Earth, consistent with the common conception of the Caucasus as a place of human origin. The Bible describes Noah landing his ark at a place called Mount Ararat, which was thought by Europeans of Blumenbach's time to be on the modern Turkish Armenian border. Ararat is still the name of the largest mountain in Turkey. In Greek mythology, Zeus changed Prometheus to a rock in the Caucasus. The Caucasus mountain range was originally the area where mankind started over after the biblical flood. Originating from the Caucasus mountain range is synonymous with Mount Ararat, the Ark of Noah, and the flood. It's not a race or ethnic group. The original Aryans were a dark complexioned nation, the Medes, Madai, sons of Japhet, grandson of Noah, Genesis chapter 10, verse 2. 